Coping question. Hello, cool guy. First off, my husband and I love your channel. We became first time homeowners and first time in ground pool owners two years ago. And thankfully, by finding your channel, we've been able to tackle a lot of things on our own thus far. Thanks to all the knowledge you pass along through your channel. So thank you for that. Getting to my question. We have a 30 plus year old in ground pool told it's an old Clayton Lambert model. The pool's old, but the, when the water is clean and crystal clear, she still does what she's intended for. My issue is the coping is old and in bad shape, and we can't afford currently to rip it up and have it replaced around and all the concrete you're poured. I was wondering if you could help me identify the type of coping that it is and give me some advice on ways to repair and refresh it to make it last us another two to five years. I've currently been considering stripping off old paint and giving it a fresh coat by priming it with Rust-Oleum Clean Metal Primer and then the protective enamel paint on top. But my main concern is the seam areas where two pieces come together and are hidden under that plastic style cover. Those are breaking and I'm worried somebody will get hurt on one. I'm unsure if there's a face mount coping style that works with this. If so, what would it be called and how could I find it? or do you have any general tips and suggestions on repairing it and the steps that you would take to do that. So I will just show an example of this coping that we're talking about and what you would do to approach it. So looking at the pictures, I am not entirely clear what type of coping that is. With the rust, it, it would indicate that it would, it's a metal coping uh, of an iron or steel based coping, although I don't know that I've ever seen one that's not either aluminum or plastic. So that rusting going on, while I guess that it could have been a metal coping back in the day, I've seen thousands and thousands of pools and, and I've never seen a metal coping, an iron or steel coping, it's always been aluminum or plastic of some type. So I'm not sure what's going on there. What I would recommend is there's probably no easy way to replace those clips at this point. You're on the right track, I think, in terms of if, I, if this were mine, how I would approach it, is I would first address each of the seams, each of the joints, and make sure that I could come up with a plausible, acceptable, finished look for now until you can afford to break out the concrete, break out the coping and put new coping in. Uh, some of the suggestions might be, like you said, do some sanding first, do those spots to make sure that, uh, that you can get a smooth surface and then a filler. Maybe if the, if the coping doesn't quite touch, a lot of times what those clips were is as we installed the, as we installed the two pieces of coping, there'd be a little gap. So to cover that gap, you put that clip over the front of it. That, that clip did two things. It held it in place and straight when we poured the concrete, but then also hid that joint. You might have to get creative in terms of hiding that joint, whether it's sand it down smooth and put some type of a filler in there and get a decent, while well, not perfect, finish, I'm sure, get something that's acceptable that then you could paint over. And if you can get those joints to look acceptable, then I would go ahead and strip it and paint the whole thing and, and you might be surprised how well it lasts. The flip side is you might need to get a little creative. Now, depending on how creative you are with paint, uh, with things like that, you could always take each of those individual joints and do something a little different with them. So if all the coping is white, in those rusted out areas, paint a flower, paint a fish, paint a, you know, do something that kind of works with whatever shape of the coping is left there because at this point, since you can't replace it, you might as well have a little fun with it, make it whimsical, do something to at least cover it. Because I doubt that you could probably scour the internet and I doubt you're gonna find someone unless they have some old stock of those clips, which you're gonna to have to modify anyway and glue back on there. Um, I would get more creative with it than that. I mean, there's, there's opportunity there. The flip side is, is you could find any other type of, uh, of acceptable piece of plastic and and heat it up and mold it to the shape enough that then you could glue it in place and at least hide that. But the way they are, if they're falling off and breaking off and they're a risk to kids sitting on them and tearing their bathing suits, much worse, pick tearing their skin, I could see it being a concern. So um, 
I would think outside the box on this one. You know, there's We've seen awful lot of old pools over the years, pools that are many, many years old, and you just kind of have to be creative to bring them back to life or spend a ton of money and, and fully renovate them. So I hope that at least gets the creative juices going and say, what else could I do here? Because I do think there's an opportunity that you could have a little bit of fun.